Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to consume web API into web forms to display records in a grid view control. And here we got the final output. And notice we consume the web API into web forms to display records in a grid view control. This is a web API displayed in the ASPX page web form. And this if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in Web API, first we'll check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. The table is EMP table which contains 5 columns, EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and joining date. Now my aim is I want to bind this EMP table into grid view control using web api and i have created this emp table in this sample db database let's write the coding part for this video tutorial i'm creating a new web api application go to file new project and from the web templates i'm selecting asp.net web application and the dotnet framework i'm using 4.6.1 the application name is web api consume web forms is my project name click ok and from the asp.net templates I'm selecting web API click ok and the project is created successfully let's close this default window now first in this project I'm adding adword.net entity data model right click the project name add I'm selecting adword.net entity data model the model name is EMP model click OK and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option EF designer from database click next Let's create a new SQL Server connection. I'm adding SQL Server name. After adding SQL Server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The table I have created in the sample DB, so I'm selecting the database sample DB. After that, test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got our connection string and the connection string name is a sample db entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next and from the database objects I'm expanding the tables folder as well as dbo. The table name is the emp table click finish and the entity model is added to our project let's close this output message box after adding entity model next open solution explorer minimize the references folder and now we'll add a class in this models folder right click the models folder add I'm selecting class the class name is EMP class click add now in this EMP class I'm just defining the public properties public int in our table we have uh, EMP ID EMP name designation department in joining date so first I want to add the EMP ID so let's add the EMP ID property get set then public string emp name is a second column name public string the next column name from the table I want to display the designation designation get and set just for the demo purpose I'm adding only three columns 
after adding the public properties in this EMP class now next step open solution explorer let's add a API controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting web API to controller empty add the controller name is EMP details click add and here we got our API controller now in this API controller I'm adding the method public IHTTP action result get EMP details is a method name now in this get EMP details method I'm adding my connection string entity name which is a sample DB entities SD is an object new sample DB entities after that I'm declaring a variable a results is equals to SD dot the object name is EMP tables dot to list method then return I'm returning the uh, it's a return ok method in this ok method I'm adding the variable results that's it we have consume that's it we have written the code in the web API to fetch records from the EMP table now before consume this web API into web forms first we require this web API URL for that let's browse the web API Google Chrome and here we got the default output of the project which is the home page now we require the web API after the host forward slash I'm adding API forward slash let's add the controller name is EMP details I'm adding the API controller name enter And here we got the results of this web API URL in the XML file format uh, displaying the five columns department designation EMP ID EMP name and joining date from this EMP table let's consume this web API into web forms stop debugging Now let's consume this web API into web forms. Open Solution Explorer. Right click the project name. Add new item. I'm selecting web from this web templates. I'm selecting web form. The web form name is display data. It's a web form page name. Click And here we got the web form page with some default HTML5 code. Now between this form and do tag, I'm adding the center tag. In the center tag, I'm adding the headings consume web API into uh, web forms mm, bind data into grid view. After that I'm adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the grid view control open toolbox I'm minimizing the standard folder expand the data folder and the data folder uh, there is a grid view control add that one after adding the grid view control to the source page now right click the mouse select the view code and now in the code behind First, I'm adding the namespaces using uh, web API is a project name dot models folder, so I can access the class from this model class models folder. After that, I'll consume the web API using a HTTP client class. So for that, I'm importing the namespace using system dot net dot HTTP client. 
after adding this namespaces now in the page dot event I'm declaring the I enumerable in this I enumerable the type of objects that uh, we are getting from the class name EMP class let's create the object for this I enumerable and now then we'll consume the web API using HTTP client class HC is equals to object new HTTP client HC dot base address is equals to new URI method this URI method takes a string parameter and this string parameter is a URI I'm adding the web API URL between double quotes so again go to browser let's copy this to the URI I'm pasting here after we got the base address we will consume the data variable consume API is equals to hc.getAsync the getAsync method uh, takes the parameter as a string the request URI we are requesting the URI is a API controller name. I am adding this EMP controller EMP data is a controller name and I am deleting from this URL then consume API dot wait method after we consume the data we read the data variable read data is equals to consume api dot result property if the data if the data is read if the data read successfully i want to display the data into a grid view control so read data dot is success status code then variable display data display record is equals to read data dot content dot I read as a sync I'm adding an I list class in this I list the type of elements in the list we are getting from the EMP class is a method and then display records dot wait method And I'm displaying before displaying the records into a grid view control. We need to collect the data into this I enumerable object. EMP object is equals to display records dot result property. And then add the grid view one, which is a grid view control ID dot data source. We are getting the data source from this EMP object, which is the I enumerable object. Add the run EMP object, then we'll bind the data. We'll do one dot data bind method. That's it. We have consumed the web API into web forms to display the records in a grid view control. First, in this project, we have added the entity model, and then we have created the class to display to add the public properties then we have added the API controller uh, to fetch the records from the database which is the EMP table and then we have added the web form page in this web form page I have added simply grid view control then we will consume the web API using HTTP, HTTP client in web form page now it's time to check the results on the browser Google Chrome And here we got the final output. And notice we consumed the web API into web forms to display records in the grid view control. This is a web API displayed in the ASPX page web form. And this table, EMP table. We have consumed the EMP ID, EMP name, and designation. These three columns into a grid view control. That's it.